It's been one year since ground-penetrating radar detected the remains of 215 children buried around the site of the former Kamloops Indian Residential School in British Columbia. Now, one year later, similar discoveries have been made on the grounds of former residential schools across the country. Here's a look at the timeline of these moments. A specialist using ground-penetrating radar makes preliminary findings that the remains of 215 children were buried around the site of the former Kamloops Indian Residential School. To Kemloops District Weapon Chief Roseanne Casimir issues a statement saying she's confirmed an unthinkable loss that was spoken about but never documented by the Kamloops Indian Residential School. We know that through a lot of the um, stories from our ancestors and you know that have attended the residential school that there's a lot of unanswered questions. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announces that all Canadian flags in federal buildings are to be lowered to half-mast to honour the 215 and all other Indigenous children who didn't make it home from residential schools. The Cowessess First Nation in Saskatchewan says as many as 751 unmarked graves have been discovered near the former Maryville Indian Residential School. That's what I said, I couldn't, can't imagine that those that, you know, like our friends that were there, that have gone and never heard I don't have to talk about it. But you're, you're, you're their voice now, so yeah. you know. Both of you, people are going to know you guys' stories now. The Lower Kootenai Band in BC says a search using ground-penetrating radar has found 182 sets of human remains in unmarked graves outside Eugene's Mission School. Survivors of a former residential school in the community of Lower Post in northern BC gather to mark the demolition of the facility. Marches and gatherings are held across the country to honour the victims of the residential school system. Canada Day celebrations were cancelled or toned down in some regions. The Penelicut tribe announces in an online newsletter that more than 160 unmarked and undocumented graves have been found at the former Cooper Island Industrial School site in BC. Professor Sarah Bolio of the University of the Fraser Valley says the discovery of a child's rib bone and a tooth had triggered the use of ground-penetrating radar to search the apple orchard at the former Kamloops Residential School site in May. This area of interest was chosen for the survey based on a number of factors. First, the knowledge keepers are all histories that recall children as young as six years old being woken in the night to dig holes for burials in the apple orchard. Second, a juvenile rib bone that surfaced in the same area. Third, a juvenile tooth that was excavated from a shovel test pit during an impact assessment conducted by Simon Fraser University's archaeology department. The BC government says it will provide immediate funding to 21 First Nation communities to help search for remains at the former residential schools or hospitals. Vancouver police say there has been a dramatic increase in vandalism or mischief incidents against properties owned by churches, coinciding with reports of remains found near Indigenous residential schools. Canada marks its first National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. Trudeau spent part of the day flying to Tofino, BC to join his family. The federal court approves the settlement of a class action lawsuit for those who attended residential schools. The Tekemlups Disikwepam First Nation says Trudeau missed an opportunity to show his commitment to the survivors of residential schools by not replying to its invitation to take part in an event marking the first National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. It was the shock, the anger, and sorrow, and disbelief was palpable in our community and rippled around the world. Trudeau is rebuked by Tekemloops District Weapon Chief Roseanne Casimir during his visit to the nation. I'm sorry I wasn't here on September 30th. It was a mistake, and I understand that it made a very difficult day even harder. You didn't have to invite me back. I know that. Well, thank you for doing so. The Canadian flag is returned to full mast ahead of Remembrance Day. Canada's Crown Indigenous Relations Minister Mark Miller announces an agreement with the National Centre for Truth and Reconciliation to hand over more records on residential schools that Ottawa had been holding back. A school narrative may seem like a very simple thing, it isn't. Um, it can be school uh, enrollment and names, it can have various levels of information. Uh, the Kamloops one is rather extensive, I wouldn't pretend it to be complete. Uh, but that is one of the ones being transferred today. Trudeau visits Williams Lake First Nation in BC's Caribou region, saying all of Canada grieves with the community after 93 reflections were found in January that could indicate the burial sites of children around the former St. Joseph's Mission Residential School. Pope Francis issues an apology for the role of the Roman Catholic Church in the harm caused to generations of Indigenous people in residential schools. 
for the deplorable conduct of these members of the Catholic Church. E vorrei dirvi di tutto cuore, sono molto adorato. E mi unisco ai fratelli vescovi canadesi. I ask for God's forgiveness and I want to say to you with all my heart, I am very sorry. Miller says the searches on the grounds of former residential schools to date are just the beginning, with 140 former residential school sites in Canada. An event is held to mark the one-year anniversary of the 215 unmarked graves of children who were buried around the site of the former Kamloops Indian Residential School. No child deserves to be treated or disrespected, to be dismissed, abused, made to feel less than human, and no child deserves to have their friends disappear, never to be seen again, always wondering, Am I next?